Our uh, Aaron Conrad is outside the BOK Center right now from another vantage point. We have our reporters stationed all the way around the BOK Center. Aaron, your thoughts tonight. Well, so far, people trickling out of the BOK Center, of course, as the president wrapped up his remarks tonight. Uh, so far, it looks like it's kind of a slow trickle. People are kind of moseying out to their cars. We've talked to a lot of folks, bikers for Trump and some of the vendors over here selling um, Trump T-shirts, Trump hats. So far, they said they really enjoyed being here in Tulsa. It's, it was a great day. And, you know, a lot of folks out here were, were in the same area where we had some protesters here at 6th and Denver. And we had two arrests here in the area, at least that we witnessed. And you know what? These bikers for Trump and some of the other bystanders said, you know what? It, it was great. They, they had a peaceful time. They actually interacted with some of the protesters. Um, and they said it was nice to watch people's First Amendment right uh, be exhibited. They said, you know, everybody was nice to each other, even if they disagreed. The tensions rise too much between opposing viewpoints. So, uh, you know, a lot of people out here saying it was actually a really great day, despite, you know, a bigger protest than maybe they've seen at other rallies, because uh, a lot of these folks travel to rallies all across the country. In fact, this vendor right here has been to at least 200 rallies across the country. Uh, so, so far, a lot of people saying tonight was successful. They enjoyed the president's message um, and that they enjoyed being here in Tulsa. So we'll send it back to you, Karen. Aaron, I do want to ask you, the president's campaign manager had uh, tweeted out saying that uh, protesters were keeping Trump supporters from getting into the BOK Center. I want to ask you, because you were at that one vantage point all day long, did you see that happening? Uh -huh. I did not see that at my location here at 6th and Denver. Now, of course, there was uh, a blockade, I think, just a few blocks down from us. I believe Tony Russell may have been over in that direction. Yes. Uh, at least right here at 6th in Denver, we did not witness uh, anybody being blocked from going inside. Uh, and it was kind of an ebb and flow all day, as you saw earlier today. Um, it, it seemed like everybody was, was coming and going uh, quite easily. So uh, we didn't see it here at 6th in Denver. Uh, but of course, other reporters may have had different vantage points. All right. Thank you very much. That's our Aaron Conrad at 6th and Denver uh, reporting outside the BOK Center.